Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm going to teach you how to Pokegen on PK Hex, and you're going to need homebrew for this. So let's get started. Okay, so now I'm in homebrew. So what I'm going to want to do? Well, what you're going to want to do? We're going to go here, save manager, select target, whatever game you're going to play, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire X Y doesn't matter. All right, we're going to select the target. All right, that's going to open. We're going to press A to back up the save data. That's going to pretty much create that file so you could poke it in. So since I already did that, I'm just going to exit. All right, once you do that, pop out your SD card from the 3DS and pop it to your computer. All right. Uh, mine should pretty much pop up by itself. All right, so... This is going to be your SD card file. So we're going to click right here, save data, backup. That's the folder. All right, ignore Charizard. Doesn't matter. All right, this is going to be the main file. All right. So let's exit. Now, right here in PK Hex, we're going to want to open. And it's going to open up our main file. That's the one that we did that backup on the homebrew. So we're going to hit open and then all your Pokemon should load up from your game. So I'm going to go, I'm going to search for an empty box. Well, this is kind of empty, so I'm going to select this one. Now, let's get started. So I'm going to go and create a Charizard. Doesn't matter, you can create whatever you want. Uh, let's hit reroll. And I'm going to go with a male. Shiny. Uh, nickname, just going to leave it Charizard. I'm going to put level 100. I'm going to run a Tib of Nature. Hold item, Charizard Y. Ability. Make sure the ability is available in the game. If it's not, then you're not going to be able to use it in battle. Or you're going to be, you're not going to be able to trade it. So I'm pretty sure solar power is available. So I'm going to go with solar power hidden ability. All right. Language English. All right. We're going to go here to country. I'm going to go with the United States. Sub region. My state, California. 3DS region. Select your region of your 3DS. I'm in the Americas. So. All right. We did that. All right. Origin game. I'm going to go with OR for Omega Ruby. My location. I'm gonna go with Battle Resort. I'm gonna put level one since it came from an egg. I'm gonna select today's date to make it easier for me. Don't click on faithful encounter. Click on as egg location. We're gonna go with daycare helpers. And we're gonna select today's date just to make it easier. Stats. I'm gonna make it perfect IVs 31 31 so we can make it legit 31 31 31 all right now right here for EVs total of 508 you're gonna see right here on the bottom once it highlights yellow then you should be good so I'm gonna go for HP I'm gonna go with four attack 252. I'm not sure if special attack 252 or attack 252, but it doesn't matter. All right. Defense zero, special attack zero, speed 252. You saw the box highlighted yellow, so that's pretty much good right there. All right. Ignore everything right here. If you're going to go with the hidden ability, uh, here's what you could select. Anyways, I'm going to go with attack. I'm going to go with solar B. Since when I use Charizard with Charizard Y, it gets drought ability, so solar beam gets to hit on the first turn. I'm going to go with air slash. I'm going to go with dragon pulse. It's an egg move, so yeah, Charizard could learn it. And I'm going to go with heat wave. All right. 
we're done right here. We learn moves. Nah, no, just leave it as none. All right. Original trainer, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna just left click right here in OT. And it's automatically gonna enter all your info. And when I wanna select all the markings. All right. For six perfect IV, hit reroll to be on the safe side. All right. And make sure you select shiny again if you want to make it shiny. All right, now you're gonna want to hit right click, set, 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 set. Depends how many um, chairs are you want. All right, so that's pretty much done. So now we're gonna go right here, file. We're gonna go here, export. And we're gonna hit export main. And main already exists. And yes, replace it. All right, now since that's done already, we're gonna pop out our SD card from the computer or laptop, whatever you have. Pop it back to the 3DS. Now we're gonna wanna reboot it. Press start and then proceed. Okay, rebooting now. All right, open up your game. Then you're gonna wanna select the PC box you pretty much put them in. Ah, crap. So it's pretty much gonna make it legit. And here's my lovely shiny Pikachu. All right, go to Pokemon Center. All right, open up your box. No. I'm not gonna deposit nothing, so we're gonna select withdraw. And if everything looks correctly. Oh crap, I forgot something, guys. Ugh. All right, guys, forgive me. Forgive me, guys. Try to do one little thing up. You have to import the save data file again. All right, guys. My bad about that. All right, so I'm using this for homebrew. All right, pop your game back in your Omega Ruby or whatever version you're gonna play and go back to save manager select target so when we're gonna, we're gonna want to import that data that we created on the PK hex and press B so the data is already imported now we go exit and now we can press start and reboot sorry about that guys Forgot this step. All right, now you're gonna wanna go back to your game. Now let's head to a Pokemon Center and hopefully Charizard's right there. All right, withdraw. Hopefully, all right. There you see. You already saw these Charizards.
All right, what am I doing? Okay. All right, you can see all this Charizard here. All right, let's withdraw one out. And let's let's take it to battle. Let me see if I have the battle effects on. Okay. And there we have our shiny Charizard that we poke in. And there you go, Charizard's Drought Ability. So now it's easier to give them egg moves instead of breeding them, which I think is a pain in the ass. Let's do one more. Alright guys, that's pretty much it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if anything, I'll leave more tutorials in the future, so thanks for watching, and if you want to support this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button if you like the video, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, thanks for watching.